Hey everybody, Chris with Up North Air Gunner. So today we are actually going to be talking about crossbows. This is going to be a quick look at the Raven R500. This is actually one of the most powerful crossbows on the market right now. And I believe only the uh, there's a 10 point that comes out a little bit faster than this. But this is at 500 feet per second, slinging some pretty massive heat for deer hunting. Now, if you didn't know, Pyramid Air is now carrying crossbows which is awesome because here in michigan we cannot shoot air powered arrow slingers yet we still have some house bills that are working their way through congress and hopefully don't get vetoed by the the governor again but this year in october i will be running crossbows and vertical bows as well it's awesome that pyramid air is now carrying crossbows but check this thing out this right here is a absolute marvel of engineering super lightweight that it's super easy to crank this thing till it's cocked and what's great about this one of the coolest features that i like about it is when those strings are fully in the engaged mode they're actually inside the frame so it's kind of like a looks kind of like a, like an ar handguard kind of frame there so those strings actually get tucked inside of that when you cock it so and it's super super narrow and what i love about the narrow nature of this is if i'm up in a tree saddle uh, with crossbows it's often quite difficult just because they're so wide but if i'm up in a tree saddle i've got some tight quarters and i can get around a tree just the narrow setup the narrow footprint of that crossbow makes it just almost like shooting a rifle from a tree so absolutely love this i actually also i was able to hunt with the uh wicked ridge nxt 400 last year which has a similar design. This is just way more uh, more narrow and at 500 feet per second. Check this out. This is blowing through a 20 inch block of gel with a 2.2 cutting diameter thorn broadhead and it blew right through it. <laughs> okay, so check that out. Uh, that is absolutely wicked. Went through the entire block, fully deployed. So yeah, I really like the way whenever um, they deploy, they break that little plunger there. So pretty big cutting wound right there. All right, so again, this is a 400 grain bolt and that's got the uh, 100 grain thorn. I mean, that's gonna probably zip through most animals. So we've got all this kinetic energy now with this uh, R500. So at 500 feet per second, having all that energy, that's all we should be worried about, right? Well, if you've been an archery hunter for more than one season, you'll know there's so much more to learn and you are always learning in the hunting woods when you're running any kind of arrow-based gear. So for this hunting season, I'm actually switching over to a more traditional broadhead style. And the reason being is I've, I've hunted with mechanicals now for, I don't know, probably the last five years or so. And, you know, I've had a lot of success with them, a lot of great cutting diameters, um, but the issue is, I've had a lot of issues with um, getting a full pass through. I've had one full pass through on one deer and the rest of them have not been a full pass through. Um, huge cutting diameter, but just they're not getting that penetration. So another issue was last year, I actually had a mechanical um, bounce off the side of a doe. It was a hard quartering shot and it did not deploy. So the arrow bounced right off the deer uh, and just, just obviously didn't recover the deer. And, you know, it was at that point I started kind of questioning a little bit about my choice of using mechanicals because it was just a doe. So if you get it like a huge deer, you know, it's got antlers outside of the ears in front of you. You've been, you know, you've been uh, hunting that deer all year long. So it's the moment of truth and you let that arrow go and it bounces off the deer or it doesn't get the penetration you need. You know what? It's just at this point for me, I'm really interested in looking at other options. So. Huge shout out to Keith Gibson at 68 Whiskey because he has actually then put me onto the Ashby Report, which I had heard about, you know, back in the 80s and 90s when my dad was uh, teaching me how to archery hunt. He used to always have us run, you know, more of a traditional style broadhead like this. And, you know, being so young, just dad told me to run it and I didn't really know why. But the Ashby Report really talks about all the different factors of why an arrow will penetrate and perform and be a lethal hunting option. And, and there's a lot of different factors. I believe there's 12 of them, but uh, the number, number one factor in all of them is structural integrity of your arrow system. So, you know, if you have a failure of your arrow system where, you know, it's coming apart or your, you know, your broadhead's not deploying, 
those are mechanical failures that, you know, for me, why risk it, right? So one of the things that I'll be doing in the, in the crossbow side of things by switching over to these more traditional uh, broadheads is it is going to slow that Raven down from 500 feet per second down to probably 450 to 475. So with that, I'll be able to use my favorite crossbow scope, which is the uh, Hawk XB30. And so by putting that uh, heavier grain weight broadhead, either the 225s or the 300s, which is going to just give me massive kinetic energy, going to be able to blow through bone and really not worry about any penetration issues, I can run this uh, Hawk XB30, which is my absolute favorite uh, crossbow scope. And what I love about this is the clarity is amazing. But right here is the, uh, the really cool feature is you can unlock this ring here and then you can adjust it to the velocity of your bolt and then it just pairs your reticle holds to the velocity. So with that 300 grain broadhead, I'll be in that uh, much lower range. So even though this only goes up to 475, it will most likely get me right where I need to be. So I'll be testing that next. But so if you're getting into crossbows or even air powered arrow slingers, where you can match the velocity of your bolt to the reticle, this thing right here is absolutely awesome. So definitely check that out. So if you guys are looking at getting into uh, crossbow hunting this year, Definitely check out Pyramid Air. Their selection is pretty awesome. Their tech support is awesome. I've been calling those guys over there, asking some questions about the R500. They've been super helpful. So check that out. Get out there. If you're here in Michigan, get out there. October 1st is coming up soon, so you better start practicing. So check out Pyramid Air. Hope to see you in the woods.